My name is Yolanda Garcia and my subject today is phonics. The grade is first grade. The lesson should take about 20 minutes and the teacher objective is the teacher will identify and read words from common word families. Beginning the lesson, the teacher will review. The teacher will put simple words on the board and review decoding the words with the students. Um, for example, cat, bed, nap, pop. Simple words that the students can decode with the teacher. Um, if you were to choose cat, you would remind the students of k, at, to sound out the word. Once um, the students and the teacher have orally reviewed the words, the teacher will continue to ask questions. Um, the teacher will ask, what is the beginning sound? What is the ending sound? And can you think of another word that sounds like this word? For example, if they chose the word cat, this teacher would ask, can you think of another word that sounds like cat? <clears throat> the overview. Um, the purpose and importance is to enable students to identify and read words from common word families. Um, last week we focused on reading one and two syllable words with short and long vowel sounds. Today we will learn to read and recognize words from common word families and tomorrow we will continue working with word families. The objective, the learner will be able to identify and read words from common word families. As a motivation in the lesson, I will be introducing the at word family music video. And the at word video just gives them a view of different words that belong to the same word family. And this is just a fun activity for the students to kind of get an overview of what's going to happen for the day, kind of an upbeat to get them motivated into what they're going to be doing. The teacher will ask students after they've watched the video what words they saw in the video. Um, the teacher will write the words on the board so that the students can see it visually. The teacher will ask students what the words have in common. So if she, the teacher writes cat and hat on the board, she will ask the students what the words have in common and what are different about the words. Um, in common would be the at, and the difference would be the h and k in the words hat and cat. So the students will notice that the words are from the same word family and just changing a letter can change the word. The teacher will then underline the word family in the word so the students can view that they both have the at in the word. The teacher will have the students repeat the words orally as a group. Um, the first activity, the teacher will introduce Starfall to the students. And Starfall you can get to by www.starfall.com. And there is phonics lessons for the students. So we will start with Anne. Make a word with ah, mm, an to match the picture. Pan. So the, the teacher will simulate the lesson for the students. She will listen to the word. She will say the word and that she will look for the correct letter to go with the picture. The picture is pan, p, an. So she would look for the letter that would finish the word. And then the teacher would show the students that you click on the letter and drag the letter. An. 
Pan. And make the word pan. Rad. Then the next picture would pop up and the word is ran. So again, the teacher would give an example to the students. An and look for the letter to complete the word. The teacher can go through all of the examples with the student on the first screen. Once the teacher has done the examples and the students get an understanding, then the teacher can move on to some of the other. There is at, an, ed, ig, ip that the students can work. She can bring it up, hopefully giving all the students a chance to come up to the smart board and click on the word and drag it down to create new words. The teacher will call on students one by one to come up and complete the words and create new words. After the, they have completed the first activity, then the teacher will introduce the students to Hop on Pop by Dr. Seuss. And the teacher will read the first, read the book to the students to give them a view of the word families. For example, up, pup, pup is up. Cup, pup, pup in cup. Pup, cup, cup on pup. Once the teacher reads the book to the students, then she will ask the students some of the words that were mentioned in the book. Um, the students would, the teacher would then write the word on the boards. For example, they would, she would write up, cup, pup on the board. The teacher would underline the word family so that students, again, the students can visualize the word family and see how they were like and how they were different. <clears throat> Once they have discussed the book and the words in the book, then they will go on to play a game, Hop on Pop Hopscotch. And this is a fun game for the students to play and to help them create words for different word families. The teacher will begin doing an example with the students, showing the students how to play the game. On your carpet, you can use masking tape to make a hopscotch, hopscotch square. And you can put the word families in the squares, either with masking tape or put the words at the bottom of the tape. And then the student, the teacher will toss a beanbag into one of the squares. And let's say the beanbag lands in the word family at. The teacher would do the hopscotch, get to the end, think of another word, a word that they could create with the word family at, say the word, and the teacher will write the word on the board, and then hopscotch back to the beginning for the next student to go. Once the teacher has done a couple examples with the students, then she will call on students to perform the activity. And the learner will take turns performing the game and making words. It's okay if the students use a word that you've already discussed prior to the activity. However, try to keep the students from using the same words during the activity. For example, if the beanbag was to land in the at family, it's okay if a student uses the word cat, but if another student comes up to the at family and they say the word cat, try to get them to think of another word instead of cat because cat has already been used. <clears throat> Once the students have gone through and performed the activity, the teacher will review the words that they have come up with on the board. The teacher will have the students repeat the words orally and the teacher will underline the word families in each word. Um, ideally, the teacher will have on the board the word family, like for example, at, ed, and write under cat, bat, sat, bed, red, ted, and underline each word family in each word. <clears throat> for homework, the learner will pick a um, word from the word family chart. The teacher will introduce the word family chart to the students. And you can either have the chart up as a paper or you can have them in little squares to put in a pocket chart. 
have the students pick a word family from the chart. They will write the word family down on a handwriting sheet of paper. So if the word family was at, they would write the word at at the top of the paper. And then they will take the paper home and see how many words they can come up with the word family at. For example, they can do cat, sat, bat, and so on to write on the paper. <clears throat> Early finishers may do a word family worksheet. And the worksheet just consists of drawing a line from a picture to the correct word. So this is a picture of cat and they will draw a line to the word cat. And this will just give them some extra practice with the word families. The website also offers various um, worksheets for word families, not only at, but for ed, for up, different worksheets for different word families that they can practice on. For special needs, students with reading disabilities will work in small groups with teacher or paraprofessional on decoding simple words. Students who are English language learners will work in small groups with the teacher or paraprofessional on decoding simple words. For remediation, the students will be placed in small groups and the teacher will reread the book Hop on Pop to the students and the students will work with the teacher on identifying the word families. For enrichment, the student will choose a word from the word family chart. Again, um, they can choose from the chart on paper or from the little cards to keep with them at their desk. The student will um, then make a list of words that they can come up with from the word family. And then the student will choose two words from their list and write a sentence using the two words. For example, if the students chose the word family at, the student would make a list of words. And if they were to choose, for example, the word cat and sat from their list, then they would write a sentence saying the cat sat on the chair. <clears throat> and the word chart words can also be used in centers activities. If you have them in little squares like this, you can also put them in one of the centers so the students can look at the different word families for example, ask or Ike or Orn, and they can try to create more words with the different word families. Thank you.